Hello, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, then I hope you enjoy the content and consider subscribing and dinging that bell to be notified of new content. Today we'll be running through how to send notifications and images to an Amazon Fire TV, messages to an Android TV and an LG Smart TV. We'll do this through using some Home Assistant integrations and via using an application on the Android TVs. So let's get our hands dirty. So first off, let's start with the Fire TV. The Fire TV is basically an Android device with software loaded from Amazon. To be able to send messages to the Android TV, we need to be able to load an application called Notification for Android TV. To be able to do this, we need to have a setting for Android Debug Bridge, ADB for short, turned on. If your Fire TV is not already in developer mode, we'll need to be able to turn it into developer mode to be able to turn on this ADB. So how do we actually do that? First off, move across into the settings. Secondly, go down into My Fire TV. Go into the About and check for updates. Make sure that all updates have been completed. Once all that updates have been completed, go backwards one step. Go to the About and hit the center button in the circle seven times. When you complete this, it will say that it's in developer mode and it'll allow you to go back in to ADB debugging and turn on. Now go to the search, type in notification for Android TV, select install, Once it's been installed, make a note of the IP address and close, accept the data policy, and you're done. Now moving across back into Home Assistant. As at the time of recording, I'm running on Home Assistant 2023.8.4. Firstly, we need to go to Home Assistant notification for Android TV and Fire TV. Links in the description below. If you scroll down, there's an add integration. Open the link. You'll be prompted to set up notification for Android TV and Fire TV. Press OK. You want to know the host name. Now that would have been the IP address that we obtained when we installed notification for Android TV on our Fire Stick. Type that in here. Provide it a name, something that you'll use inside of Home Assistant. Press Submit. Success. Create a configuration for Lounge Fire TV. Press Finish. Now let's test it out. I'm going to send a message and I'm going to send an image to the Fire TV. To be able to send the image though, I need to be able to have either a URL of an image that I want to send or alternatively I can store it locally. Now we covered inside of the Studio Code Server video, link in the description. If you go into Studio Code Server, I've created a folder called Images underneath the www folder. Inside of that, I've loaded an image called smarthomeaustralia.jpg. To be able to get in there, you just need to literally drag and drop your image and put it into that folder. Now let's go across into developer tools. We're gonna to move across into services. Inside of the service, if you just type for Fire TV, we'll find send notification to Lounge Fire TV. Select that one. We're gonna type in a message. Please subscribe. We're gonna give it a title, Smart Home Australia. We now need to give it some data. We want it to appear on screen for a period of time. So we'll give it a duration, followed by a colon and a space of 10 seconds. Then we can tell notification for Android how big our font size should be. In this case, I'm gonna use font size, colon, space, max. Then I'll give it where I want the image to appear. I give it the parameter position, colon, space, center. Next. I need to be able to tell it what image I want to be displayed. Go to a new line, image, colon, then space. Then we need to put the path in. The path will be two spaces. Then type path, colon, space. Then the location of the actual image. Path, colon, space, forward slash, config, forward slash, www, forward slash, images, forward slash, and then the name of your file, .jpg making sure that the P from path appears underneath the 
A from image. Now I can call the service and see what happens on the TV. Success. As you can see, the image and the text and the title has appeared. It will stay there for 10 seconds and disappear. We can now send messages. Inside of the notification for Android Fire TV, you can see there are many different parameters that you can actually drive. You can try these ones out. An interesting one though is the interrupt, as in that if you send a message or a picture to the Android TV, and this is set to a one, it will temporarily pause streaming services such as Netflix while the message is on screen. As soon as the message disappears, they will unpause and continue to play. Next, we're going to take the same approach when we're integrating messaging across into an LG TV. Now, LG run an LG WebOS Smart TV operating system, so therefore they are not Android TVs. Therefore, we have to follow a different approach, and there's a different integration for that. But likewise, as we did before, we can't just install the integration. We need to make sure that the TV has been set up correctly. So let's go and do that now. Turn on your LG TV. First, we're going to have to set the LG Connect to be able to interface to external applications. To be able to do that, we need to navigate across into the settings. You can do that by pressing the settings button, moving across into network, down into LG Connect apps. Inside of here, there's a little tick box. Turn that to on. If you're not familiar with how to find the IP address of your LG TV inside of your router, you can find it inside of the TV itself. Navigate across into all settings again. Go across into networks. Mine's wired. And now you can see the IP addresses. Make a note of that. Now we have all the preparation work done on our LG TV. We need to go to the Home Assistant LG WebOS Smart TV site. Link in the descriptions below. Scroll down. Add integration. Open the link. It will now ask you, do you want to set up your LG WebOS TV? Press OK. Type in your host name that you recorded from before. Provide a name for your TV. It will now ask you on your TV to confirm that you are connecting to the WebOS TV. Press that button on your TV. We can now allocate an area and press Finish. Now let's go and test it out. If we go back into Developer Tools, now we don't need to fill in any of the other details because it's very limited in relation to what it can actually send to the screen. Let's check to see if that works. As you can see, the message has appeared. The LG WebOS Smart TV might seem very simplistic in comparison to the notification for Android TV. However, there are many more functions available inside of it in relation to sources, media that can be played, turning off and turning on, uh, outputs, and a WebOS button and a WebOS command. I'll put the links in the description below so you can have a look at the various different options that are available. If you'd like more details in relation to the WebOS TV integration, let me know in the comments. And that about does it. So that was Home Assistant integrating through messaging and control to two different types of TV, Android TVs and Web OS LG TVs, using the notification for Android TV integration and also the LG Smart OS TV integration. Both excellent integrations and both providing some great functionality that will help you in relation to controlling your media inside of Home Assistant. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you consider subscribing and dinging that notification bell to get notified when new content becomes available. I'll see you on the next one.